hey guys welcome to my channel i am so sorry but i'm really bad about uploading videos on youtube <laughs> life gets busy but i wanted to just share something with you guys and for those that are curious and wanted other people's opinions such as myself i am not a doctor i am not promoting anything i am just giving you my honest opinion as a consumer so i am almost two years post-op uh, VSG hiatal hernia repair I decided to go ahead and have surgery for weight loss because I was in and out of the hospital with a lot of heart issues uh, I have an arrhythmia called AVNRT that would cause me to just automatically all of a sudden have a heart rate of like 180 160 130 and it could last for four hours I felt like I was gonna pass out so it was either an ablation or doing something about my weight, which kept increasing because I also have PCOS and I was turning 40 or I did turn 40 back then. So yeah, with all that being said, I had the surgery. I've lost well over 80 pounds. I feel amazing. This is the weight that I was at when I was in my 20s. I'm in my mid 40s and I've had quite a journey with health, with my hair, and now more so because I've lost hair. So if you can see, I have some hair loss that I can tell because when I take pictures, I can totally see. Um, it's not as bad as other people that I've seen, but I do feel that I need to work on that. So aside from my multivitamin that I take daily, I'm going to go ahead and add Nutrafol. Nutrafol is not cheap. And I did my research and I'm going to give it a try for at least three to six months. The only downfall that I see is the cost, which is $75 a month. I did buy a 90 day supply. And the pills are four. If you can see the size of the pill, there's four pills. So I have to take that with a meal. Now, they do say that if your current multivitamin, this does act like a multivitamin, but you can also take a vitamin. That's not a big deal. The only thing they say is do not mix. Don't add additional iodine or selenium to your routine, to your, to your multi. So I did order Mary Ruth to try it out, which is vegan. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what happens. I did do a one-time purchase of the Nutrafol Growth Activator. It's not oily because I had purchased, um, there's a, another product that you can buy at Target or online on Amazon. It's called Miel, M-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's called Miel Organics. And it's a rosemary oil, which helps the scalp, you know, for any hair loss, it's natural and it smells good. It's just oily. I just tested this growth activator on my palm. It doesn't feel oily, which is good. I purchased the shampoo and the conditioner, if you see it here. It has a little hole here. And so the conditioner is called the Strand Defender and Root Pur Purifier Scalp Microbiome Shampoo. So. During my research, um, I know these were two biomedical students, I believe, that created Nutrafol. They have amazing, an amazing package, I have to say. And the refills come in bags. So you keep this glass, this glass bottle, and you refill it. Oh, it says, keep growing. I've read a lot of positive reviews. And then I've, let, I've read kind of like, oh, you know, you have to always take this because if not, your hair starts falling off again. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever helps. I'm going to try it. And I just wanted to share my journey with you guys. And, you know, I could help others because I did see a lot of comments, reviews, but not as many videos. Or maybe I'm not looking in the right place. But that's why I decided to go ahead and hop on here and let you guys know what I was up to. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Uh, little tricks and tips that I do for my hair not to fall or shed so much is I avoid washing my hair every day. I wash it like once or twice a week. Um, I haven't gone as far as getting a silk 
a bed like pillow cover i haven't done that i've heard that's another little trick but i'm not going that far i only blow dry my hair if i'm going out like if not naturally i let it dry i don't want to do more damage i try to avoid dyeing, dyeing my hair so much as well that's hard to do i have roots you know coming in with whites you know so we'll see i don't know if i could do that but perhaps if i want some color i can just dye the bottom i'm not a hairdresser so i don't know it's a struggle the journey of the hair has always been a thing and now more so i will let you guys know how it goes and i hope it goes well i've heard people have allergies you know they can have allergies to certain things that are natural like i do i have uh, a allergic reaction to stevia if you know anyone that has an allergic reaction to stevia that would be me i was taking stevia for about five months in my coffee and i would get like little red dots everywhere and there you go i had an allergy test um and that doesn't come out but so we'll see i'll let you guys know thanks for coming into my channel and keep you posted if you have any questions just dm me or comment below bye okay i took my four pills i'm not a fan of taking pills i really am not that's why i'm still having a chewable daily chewable and i ordered um the mary ruth that's liquid form i'm not a pill taker but sometimes you have to do what you have to do so